Well, after hail pounded the in the Northwest yesterday, you might be wondering why. This is some of the largest hail any of us have ever seen in our region. New tonight at six, meteorologist Matt Gray explains, and I'm so excited to say this, what the hail happened. Instead of rushing rain, an unsettling clunk. Hailstones bigger than golf balls smashed through trees, homes, and cars. Chatter just, yeah. The storm carved out a swath of hail and damaging wind over 70 miles from the Palouse to the I-90 corridor. But why here and why then? Hail forms in the chaotic winds moving up and down inside a thunderstorm. As rain gets carried up to the top of the storm, it freezes into little hailstones. The stronger the storm is, the longer those hailstones cycle up and down inside it. They collide with more raindrops or other hailstones and grow until the storm can't hold them up anymore. And then they fall. To create hail between the size of a golf ball and a tennis ball, this storm was exceptionally powerful. Low pressure off the West Coast gave the ingredients to make this monster cell. Fast, high-altitude winds maintain the storm's updraft to keep it from collapsing on itself. Some of the most humid air we have seen this year became fuel to feed the hungry storm, and the heat of the day created rising unstable air so the storm could tap into that moisture. It took each of these ingredients, much more than your average Northwest day, create much more than your average Northwest hailstorm. And again, that was Matt Gray. If you like that story, subscribe to the Brainstorm newsletter on KXY.com every week. Matt keeps you informed on weather in the, in the Northwest and the science behind it.